And now, part three of the Parker story. Jesus had to die. Why did Jesus have to die? Remember I said that a creator who is totally good has to punish wrong? Well, all the wrong things that people had done meant that they needed to be punished by death and being separated from the creator forever. So Jesus came to the earth and lived and then died, taking the punishment for all people so that everyone has the chance to live forever with the creator. What, did it work? Of course it did. The Creator's plans always work. And even more incredible is that Jesus' sacrifice covers the punishment for bad things that haven't even been done yet. How is that possible? That's the power of the Creator. That's the power of Jesus. What's wrong? You seem sad. I just wish Jesus didn't have to die. Oh, now we're at my favorite part of the story. Huh? Jesus did die. He was killed by people who refused to listen to what he was telling them. People who wouldn't stop disobeying the Creator. But Jesus didn't stay dead. Oh no. He came back to life three days later and never died again. For real? He's still alive today? He sure is. It's all part of the Creator's plan to save his creation. The people he loved from the very beginning. Jack, I... I'm glad you told me all this, but I can tell I have a lot to learn. The story's never over when it comes to Jesus. He may have only been on earth for 30-some years, but his story is infinite. We could learn about it our whole lives. And thanks to his amazing love for me, even losing Parker had something good come out of it. I got back to studying my Bible and learning more about my amazing creator. I want to learn more, too. Where do we start? Well... Let's start at the beginning. The very beginning. Is that when Jesus was born in Nazareth? Did I say Nazareth? Yeah, you said Jesus was born in Nazareth in, um, Asia? Uh, there's another reminder that I'm not perfect. Jesus was born in a place near Nazareth called Bethlehem. It's about 11 kilometers away. But he grew up in Nazareth. I must have gotten confused. Oh, it's okay, I forgive you. <laughs> Thank you, Waddles. Oops. I got a bit of a grumbly tumble. Mm, good idea, Waddle's tummy. Let's have a scrumptious snack before we read the Bible. Oh, and we can talk about an idea I have with the radio. How does this sound? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lost Storybook. I'm your host, Jungle Man Jack, here in the studio with my assistant, Waddles, the Knot Duck. <laughs> I can't run. <laughs> There's always something to be excited about in Jack's treehouse. <laughs> what a time those two are in for at the treehouse. My name is Jared Ball, and I'm the creator of Jack's Treehouse. Thank you for listening to today's episode, part three of the Parker story. This episode marks the end of the exciting, experimental season one of the show. Hopefully you have enjoyed getting to know Jack and Waddles, and look forward to their upcoming stories and adventures. Please, if you'd like, tell your friends and family about the show, and reach out on the Jack's Treehouse webpage or on social media. You can listen to this and previous episodes anytime you'd like on most podcasting platforms and on the Jack's Treehouse webpage, jaredballbooks.com treehouse. That's J-A-R-E-D-B-A-L-L books.com treehouse. I'm Jared Ball. Tune in next time for more fun stories and life-changing truths in Jack's Treehouse. <laughs>